Welcome friends, in this one let's take a look at finding the integral here of the absolute value of sine of x between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. So what we have to do, because we have the absolute value present, we have to break this into two separate pieces. The first one will go from the following, negative pi over 2 up to 0. If you look in the picture on the left hand side right here, you see the sine function is negative. To take its absolute value, you have to multiply it by negative 1. That is what makes it positive or takes its absolute value in other words. So that means over here you're going to have to do the following, negative sine of x and then dx plus. Then you're going to do the second piece which is going to be the definite integral from 0 up to positive pi over 2. In the picture over here, that corresponds to this region right here. The sine function is already positive, so here, back in the integrand, you can just say sine of x and then dx this way. When you anti-differentiate, you're asking, what's the function whose derivative is negative sine? That's the cosine function. So you're going to say cosine of x, and you're going to put in your upper limit of 0 and your lower limit there of negative pi over 2. And then for the second piece, you're going to say, what's the function whose derivative is the sine function? That is negative cosine. Negative cosine x. And again, this will go between pi over 2 as the upper limit, and on the bottom it's going to be 0 as the lower limit. Now, see this negative in the middle here on the cosine? That can be floated to the middle to kill that positive. That part will get copied exactly right here, so that's not going to change. You still have your 0, that's still going to be negative pi over 2, and it's going to be minus cosine x, and then it's going to go there from uh, to pi over 2, and then 0 this way. And then you can plug in the upper lower limit, so it's going to be cosine of 0 minus cosine of negative pi over 2 minus, and then be very careful, put brackets, and then evaluate cosine of pi over 2 minus cosine of 0. And then just work these values out. Cosine of 0 from the unit circle, perhaps you know, is equal to 1. Cosine of negative pi over 2 is 0 from the unit circle, minus, again, brackets to be careful. Cosine of pi over 2, again, is 0. This is going to be then minus cosine of 0, which is 1. So this is what it looks like at first. Drop all of the zeros. Just be careful here, because again, you see outside the brackets is a negative 1. So you're going to end up here on the bottom with 1 plus 1, which lastly will be 2, and then this is the answer. Thank you, friends. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in another video.